Welcome. This video is going to demonstrate how to make a minion in Fusion 360. This model is part of the Higher Graphic Communication CAD Challenges models. To begin with, we're going to do a new sketch on the bottom work plane. And we click the Look At button. We we'll draw a circle that's 84 millimeters in diameter. Hit Finish Sketch. And we can then extrude this up, hit the Extrude button, by 72 millimeters. It's going to create a cylinder for the dungarees. Next step is to fill it, so click the fill it button, the bottom edge by 12 millimeters. We can then use the shell button, click the top surface and shell it with a wall thickness of two. Next, offset work plane from the top surface. We want to go minus five down and then draw on that. This is going to be us drawing the bit for the arms. So we're going to draw a line diagonally, hit the tab key to put the angle in place. And you can do the same in this direction. Complete the shape up so we can extrude this later on. We then want to draw a line down the center. And we're going to mirror this across. So we're going to make this a construction line. And we can hit the mirror tool, select the three lines, the mirror line, and mirror it across. We can then extrude this down the way. Subtract the material by 37 millimeters. So the front and back part to do next of the dungarees. This time we're going to do a new sketch on the top surface. Like before, hit the tab key to put the angle in place and we're going to draw another triangle like we did previously. I'm just checking it's not overlapping my first extrusion. There we are. Okay, we're going to mirror this across. So I'm going to draw a mirror a line. Turn it into a construction line. I can mirror the three lines across with the center line. There we go. So this time we're going to extrude these two triangles down the way. Make sure you select all the shapes. And we're going to extrude it down, subtract the material by 17 millimeters. Lovely. So the next part is fill it. So we're going to select these edges here and going to fill it by five millimeters. So it's all corner edges. There we go. That's just completed the dungarees. Next, we're going to select the, and the middle work plane and do a new sketch. This could be for the body of the minion. If I hit the slice button in the sketch palette menu, we'll be able to see the sketch more clearly. Okay, first step, we're going to go and project some geometry. Project geometry means to take the, the sizes, the geometry from the model and put it onto your work plane. So I'm going to select the lines I have just done. I'm then going to, in the top corner here, draw a line up. It should snap to this point. There we are up by 30 millimeters and to the right, we're going to draw a line by 40. It's so going to find the center of a circle. Circle's going to allow us, well, we're going to draw a circle to get the curve at the top. And we can draw a circle like, so, like, like shown. Okay, next step, we're going to draw some lines down. So a line down the center. When you use the revolve, you'll need to draw half the shape and spin it around a center point. And that's a line down the center. So we can then use the trim tool, that's the scissors, to trim away the parts of the circle we don't, we don't need. Now yeah, I'm just going to complete my shape up. So I'm going to draw a line down like so. One along the bottom. And the curve, I'm going to draw a line up. Like so. And that's going to find the center point. I'm just going to draw a circle to make the curve. I can then trim bits of the circle I don't need away. Let's make this line a construction line. I'll delete it. There we are. Okay, so I've drawn my profile shape. Let's revolve it. Select the revolve tool. Now just make sure you select all the parts of the uh, you need to revolve. The center axis is going to be the vertical line. Make sure it says join. We have the body of the minion. Next step, we're going to make the, the strap for the, the goggles. We're going to select the middle work plane once more. Click the look at button. Okay, first of all, let's project some geometry. I'm going to project this line here and these parts. I can then draw a line up from here. And we're drawing a line up by 25. Then want to draw a line to the left by two millimeters. 
one vertical up by 10. Now we need an outline shape, so I'm going to draw a line horizontally across into the minion, then back down to complete the shape. Just going to make this line a construction line. There we are. So we can then revolve that. We select like the revolve tool. Shape's already selected. My center axis, I'm going to select the Y axis in this case, and it's going to revolve around. Just make sure it says join. And we've got the strap for the goggles. Next step is to do the actual goggles. So we're going to use an offset work plane. I'm going to select the middle work plane, and I'm going to offset it by 50 millimeters. We can then draw on that work plane. I have to click the look at button. Now we need to uh, project geometry once more and select the top and bottom edge. I can then draw a line down the center. That allow me to draw a circle from the center point of that line out by 38 millimeters and another one by 30. We can then extrude this shape here in the way by 20 millimeters. Make sure we add the material for the goggles. Now we're going to repeat the exact same thing, so a new sketch on the front of the goggles this time. So we're going to hide the headband. So I'm going to project the circle to find the centre, draw a circle, and then extrude it in the way by 20, subtract the material, and there you, so you can see it's hidden the, the band. Okay, next part is the actual eye. Let's select the middle work plane this time. Look at button, and if you hit the slice button here, it's going to hide the bit of model we don't need. Using project geometry, we can select this line as shown, and that allows us to then find the center point. It snaps to its little triangle shape, and we can draw the eye out to any size you like, and then use a trim tool to remove this part. Now it's going to be revolved once more. So the axis this time, it's going to be the vertical line. Make sure it says join once more. And there's the eye in place. Okay, new sketch. This is going to be for the eyeball. Just going to do it in the front of the goggles. So we're going to draw a circle for the, the pupil. Make it any size you like. We can then extrude that in to make an indent. So this time I'm going to put in Yep, that size, make sure it says, says cut. And we've got an indent to represent the pupil. There we are. So next part, well, let's do the, well, let's do the arm. So select the middle, work plane once more. For the arm, we're going to do a sweep. So we need to draw a path and a profile. So we're going to do the path first. So let's use the project button. I'm going to select these edges just here. That's going to project the geometry onto a work plane. We can then draw a line from this point down, we're going to draw down by 51. That's going to give us a center point for our circle. We're going to draw a circle to get the arc in place. There we are. And we don't need the whole circle, so I'm going to draw a little line just here. And that's going to allow us to trim this part of the circle. And I can then remove this line. Let's make this one here construction. There we go, so we've got the path in place for the sweep. So we now need to do the profile. For that, we're going to do a new work plane again. I'm just going to make a point on this bit here. So I can then do an offset work plane. Use that work plane there. But if I click that point, I'll put the work plane exactly against the edge. I can then draw on that work plane. The circle. So the circle is going to be where that white dot is just now. Make that size any size you like. I'm going to go for 10. There we go. We've got a profile and a path. So we can now use the sweep feature. Let's select the profile and the path. Just make sure it says join. And we've got arm in place. To do the next arm, we're going to do a mirror. So go to create and select mirror. Make sure you've got features selected. Select arm. 
select the middle work plane and it'll mirror it across and have our both arms done. Next step is to do the actual feet. And we're going to use revolve once more for this and we select the middle work plane. From the centre we want to draw a line out 15 millimetres. Then we want to draw half the leg, so we're going to draw a line out at the 8 millimetres, a line down by 10, a line horizontally to the left by 2.5. Complete the shape. We can then revolve that shape with the vertical line being the axis and makes the legs. For the feet, let's do a new sketch on the bottom of that cone shape. Now I'm going to use the Project Geometry button once more to select the small circle. Now we're going to do the feet by doing an ellipse. I'm going to draw a line from the centre up. Let's go 15. To do the ellipse, we want to select the ellipse tool, select the centre of the circle, click on the end of the long line, the edge of the circle. We can then use the trim tool to remove the part of the ellipse we no longer need. I'm going to change this vertical line to a construction line. We can then extrude the shape. You just select all the parts by six millimeters. There we go. So like the arm, let's mirror this across. So click on the Create button, select the mirror. Now we want to select the features. So I'm going to select both those parts here. The work plane is a centre work plane. I'm just going to move this slightly so I can select it. And we've got the second leg in place. Okay, nearly done. Last thing to do for making wise is the mouth. So for the mouth, we need a new work plane once more. So I'm going to use a tangent work plane. I'm going to select the outside edge. The reference work plane, I'm going to go to the modeling tree and select this work plane here. There we go. I can then draw on that work plane. I'm going to click the look at button. Now to help us again use project geometry, I'm going to select this bottom part of the goggles, the size in the model, and the drawing should I say is from that point. So I can draw a line from here down by 20 and then horizontally across. Now the next part is an arc, so we're going to use the center point arc tool. We're going to select the center of the circle and the size is 34. So we'll type that in, then click and sweep it around, click a second time. So we can now use the trim feature to remove the lines we no longer need. Now, we want to fill at these points here, but sometimes it won't let you. It's not going to let me do it just now. I can fill at that once it's a 3D shape. So we're now going to extrude that in the way. Remember, remember to select subtract material and you can make it any size you like. I'm going to go in about 10. There we are. Okay, next step, so let's use the fillet tool. Let's fillet this line in here by two. And the same on this side. And there we have it. Okay, next steps. Time to add some colors. So we're going to go to render. Click the appearance button. We want to search for the colors we want. Remember to drag it into the top space. And obviously you can do that for all the colors you need. When we come to add the colors, make sure you've got faces selected. And we can then just drag and drop them on the faces to color the individual faces. As you can see, there we are, one completed minion. Thank you for watching.